Shrimp cocktails, that classic appetizer that upgrades any party. If you cook it the right way, it'll be the first appetizer to go. Now the key to great shrimp cocktail is to get the best shrimp you can and then to cook it in a flavorful liquid rather than just water. If you buy cooked shrimp from the grocery store, chances are that's how that shrimp was cooked. When you cook it at home, using a flavorful broth, you're gonna get much better shrimp cocktail. So let's make that flavorful broth. I have a great big stock pot here because I'm gonna cook about two to two and a half pounds of shrimp at one time. So you wanna have a lot of water to cook that much shrimp. I've got four quarts of water in here and I'm gonna add some seasonings to it. Onion, I've just peeled it. You don't even have to peel it, but I've peeled it and halved it. Some celery, no need to take the leaves off, just make sure you've washed it. Some fresh thyme, two bay leaves, some peppercorns, 12 to 15, garlic cloves. We're gonna smash these just so that it releases their flavors. You also notice there's no need to peel those either. Then we're gonna cut a lemon in half. I'm gonna squeeze that lemon juice into that pot and then add the whole squeezed half. And then we're gonna put salt in here, about two tablespoons of salt, because we want that water uniformly salted so that it will season the shrimp. We're not gonna be ingesting all that salt. Let's bring this to a boil. Once it's at a boil, you're gonna turn it down to a simmer, and we're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes just so that all those flavors can mingle. So while our flavorful broth, also sometimes known as a court bouillon, as that is simmering, let's make our cocktail sauce. In this large bowl, I have some ketchup. I'm going to add to it the classic ingredient in cocktail sauce, which is horseradish, prepared horseradish. Now, how much horseradish you put in really depends on how spicy and strong you want that to be. I'm putting in about a quarter of a cup. I'm also gonna need some lemon zest and some lemon juice. So the key to making lemon zest and lemon juice from one lemon is to always do the zest first because it's much easier to zest a whole lemon than it is to zest a lemon you've already cut in half. So I'm going to zest this lemon and add the lemon zest to the cocktail sauce. Now, if you're using a microplane grater like that, that'll probably give you about a tablespoon of lemon zest. Let's cut that in half and juice it. Add that lemon juice to there, the lemon zest in there. Let's stir it all together. We're gonna add a few dashes of Worcester sauce. If you want it a little brighter, add some more lemon juice. If you want it a little zestier with a little more oomph, add some more horseradish. But now you've made a fantastic cocktail sauce at home. We need to get ready for the next step, which is cooking the shrimp. Here is our broth that has been simmering for about 20 minutes. You can't really over simmer that, so you can do that well in advance if you want to. I'm gonna remove the celery, the onion, the lemon halves, anything that might just get in the way of my shrimp as I'm cooking them. So just set that aside, and then let's talk about our shrimp, because that's one of the key points of shrimp cocktail. You wanna get really, really good shrimp. What I've got here is Anderson Seafood's Black Tiger Shrimp. What's great about them is they've already been peeled and deveined. If yours haven't, you're gonna to want to do that ahead of time, but it's a great idea to pick up the shrimp that already has been peeled and deveined. Black tiger shrimp, you can identify it with that black mark across the back of the tail there. These still have the tail on, which is great too because it's sort of like a handle when people go to eat their shrimp cocktail. I've put them all in a basket here because now what I can do is add all the shrimp at one time and remove them all at one time. So they're all gonna be evenly cooked. I'm gonna turn the heat up on my core bouillon just to bring it back to that rolling boil. And then I'm gonna add the shrimp. It will only take about two or three minutes. The shrimp will turn bright pink when they're done. We don't want to overcook them, so don't walk away at this point. Okay, while those shrimp are cooking, we've already prepared an ice bath. An ice bath is simply a large bowl with cold water and ice cubes in it. We're gonna take that shrimp out of that cooking broth and stop the cooking immediately by shocking it in the ice bath. So have that ready to go. So it doesn't take long for those shrimp to turn that beautiful pink color. We're gonna take them out quickly here. And again, with that basket, we take them all out at one time. Now we're gonna transfer them to that ice bath. Let them cool in here. They're gonna wanna sit in here for at least three minutes to really properly cool all the way through. So that's just enough time for us to clean up and get our platter ready. Now we need to dry that shrimp off. So I'm gonna put out a clean kitchen towel and just take the shrimp out of the ice bath, put them out in a single layer, 
Pat them dry with another clean kitchen towel, and then let's put them onto a platter to serve. I like to arrange them with the tails all going in the same direction, just for a nice presentation. Add a few lemon wedges, just so people can squeeze lemon on if they would like to. And there you have a classic appetizer that has lasted through the decades and still makes people happy.